Hi guys, Jeremy from thecustomgeek.com here, and I just want to go over some equipment for some surface mount soldering before we get started. So, um, I would invest in a good iron. I think it's a very good investment. Uh, this particular one is is a, a kind of a cheapo. It's a OIG, I think. has five valves in it. Not sure how you say that. Uh, Hacko uh, would be my next iron uh, when I go to replace this guy here. I've had this one for quite a long time, and it works good. But um, you want to get yourself a, a good iron. Um, you know, that's a that's it's a really decent iron, not basically what they call, you know, in the industry, a fire starter. So, um, there's that guy there, and um, if you have SMD parts to solder, you probably want to store them. So, um, this guy right here, uh, these little boxes I got from Adafruit uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, they're marvelous. I, I, I actually absolutely love them. Uh, you keep all your little tiny SMD stuff in there, and it keeps them nice and safe and organized, and they're modular. In other words, you can or uh, you can arrange them in any side, in any fashion you want. They have little clips on the side, and they uh, just a, a really good setup for holding your parts. Um, a wire sponge is a good idea, versus the little sponge that's moist, and you need to uh, have, have you clean off your iron with a moist sponge. This is a lot better solution for that. Um, some solder. I am a big fan of um, actually not that or that. Um, 0.015 inch solder uh, for for surface mount. You can see that you can get really good control with it. It's really really fine solder. When you get the bigger, thicker solder, it's kind of hard to just get a, just a tiny bit. Um, and some solder wick probably uh, is a good idea. Tweezers. Um, get yourself some good tweezers. I got these guys from Adafruit uh, a few weeks ago, and they're quickly becoming my favorite. In fact, they already have become my my favorite tweezers. They're ESD safe, and um, they, they're a lot thicker than the other ones, and they have a really nice feel to them versus these other guys that are that are EST safe, uh, but they're a lot thinner. You can't really get a good hold of them, but these guys both have really good, uh, a really good feel to them. So good tweezers is essential because there's no way you can pick these things up with your fingers. Um, Panavice Jr., uh, a great, great tool. Uh, hold your boards. It's slotted to hold boards, temperature resistant. Um, just a good vice to pick one up. And then... Um, a head magnifier. Uh, this is one that I got at my local electronics shop. I think it's a 6x, um, which is which is good. And then I also have, I took this off of an old school camcorder. Uh, I don't know what the magnification is, but I can easily read uh, lots of tiny things with this. So this is good. And then once in a while, I have these guys here, uh, the super nerd goggles here. These are 20x, and they have little LEDs on the side of them that you can turn on uh, to light up whatever you're doing. But um, the point is that you need you need to be able to see uh, really up close. Having said that, this guy right here, uh, I got this about a month back or so, and this has been one of the greatest things ever in my tool bench. This is a USB microscope. Um, it's what you'll be seeing most of the video today. It goes from 20 to 200x, and it's just really, really cool. So uh, I'm going to try to solder around all these cameras today and see if I can uh, see if I can get some stuff done. So, without further ado, uh, let's talk about what we're going to solder. So now that we've discussed tools, we're going to go over our board. So we have a little board here with basically just a little tiny controller, a button, and an LED. So we are going to take this AT-Tiny 85 and attach it to here. And we're going to have a little push-button switch. And we're going to have a little resistor that's 603 in size, 100 ohm. And we're going to have a white LED that's also 603 in size. So, let's get started. Okay, guys, now we're going to solder the surface mount resistor on here. So the same thing, we're going to take a little bit of solder and we're just going to dab that pad. And then we're going to take our tweezers. And I have a 100 ohm resistor here. So we're going to put this down. Um, this camera is kind of in the way here. Um, I'm going to switch tweezers and go with straight tweezers, see if I can get a better shot at this. Okay, so there's our 
resistor that's attached, we're going to put a little bit of pressure on it, make sure it's firmly seated. Alright, it clicked down a little bit. You probably didn't hear that on the video, but I felt it. So we're going to go ahead and solder the other side. And then we're just going to tack the other side and make sure that's good and, good and bonded. So now we have our resistor in place, and now we can go ahead and solder our LED. Okay guys, so now we're going to solder in our LED. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to dab one pad with solder here. And then we're going to take our LED. Now I'm going to flip this over here. You can see that the bottom of the LED has some markings on it. And uh, the side with the green on this one is the anode. So the cathode is at the end. And so we actually need to flip this guy around. So we're going to take this. I'm going to carefully flip it around. This is off camera. You can't see this. So now it is it is on here and ready to go. So we're going to just go ahead and tack that guy in. We're going to do the same thing we always do. and Heat it up, push it down, make sure it's got good contact. It's off to the end a little bit, so I'm going to slide it up just a hair. Let's see if I can straighten this out just a hair as well. Then we're going to solder the other side with a nice clean tip. I'm going to come around the back side and then make sure that's soldered good as well. Okay. So, that pretty much wraps that up and then we're going to take a closer look at this with a microscope in a second here. There is our resistor. It looks good. So now let's check our LED. Okay guys, there's our LED and it looks good as well. Alright guys, we have our finished board here. I'm just going to pop this in this vise. We have our wire sponge here and I have a USB Tiny. And uh, I'm just going to plug this in and put some firmware on it. So um, we have a program going here. It's just a real simple program. Uh, just basically to flash the LED. So uh, what you didn't see me do is I used this same programmer and I put an Arduino bootloader on this guy. Uh, internal resonator running at 8 MHz. So we have LED blinky. So the board's a success. Um, everything works and happy soldering.